Welcome back to Afternoon Express. We're about to get so much more stylish. So, Cherry Couture was conceptualized by Mariam Desai, who had been a housewife for almost 30 years, and on the eve of her 49th birthday, not that she even looks a day over 35, <laughs> She decided that she was going to pursue a career in fashion. With her natural flair for garment styling, she created clothing that was modest yet stylish and catered to the various shapes and forms of women. Now she runs Cherry Couture along with her daughter Farah Naz, who left her corporate job to assist in the business side of uh, Cherry Couture. This duo is definitely a mom and daughter goals. Twinning is winning with the shininess. I love it. There's no way you could have been a housewife. Yes, you are just too fabulous. But he is. Yes. <gasps> yes. And wow. then what made you decide on the eve of your 49th, 49th birthday, birthday, you were like, I'm just wasted in this home? <laughs> no, never thought that the business will take off in one yeah. year as it did. Um, the kids was all growing up. They all got married and I thought, what am I going to do? Yeah. So I said, ask my husband, can I start a small clothing line? He didn't think anything of it. He said, yes, go ahead. I started with four kimonos, yeah. jackets, yeah. for my first open day. The CMT that we used for the first week, she robbed us for the first week. Wow. No. Yeah. So all the people How I invited you to... you stole yeah. kimonos or sold the money? No, no. We, 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 we paid for our, for, for our first opening line. We yeah. had an open day. And on the day, when we'd go fetch the garments, she didn't make it. Gone with the money. Oh, my no. goodness. Yeah. So then what did you do? You got two sewing machines and you started your own? The lady that worked for her mm. gave me a call and she asked, can she come and work for me? I said, but I don't have machines. Uh, I only use this. I'm gonna, they, they told me I must use a CMT. Yeah. Uh, she called me up. I looked on Gumtree, I bought two sewing machines and I put it in the back of my lounge and that's how we started. Do it yes. yourself, <laughs> like the queen that you are. How was it like watching your mom start this business from scratch? Because initially you weren't involved no. and then through time you kind of left your job, you ditched that and hopped on social the mom media. wagon. Wow, for yeah, social so, media, yes. So basically we are two totally different people. <laughs> she is the more vibey extra one. And I'm more introverted and shy, but together that works well for our business. Wow, so amazing. it's the younger take, the older take, combine them and we can cater for all women. I love it. And you don't just cater for all women. You're literally catering for every woman yes. because you're selling so much volume. I believe that you've got like a new run and like a new, we, we, a new vibe every like, week. Like a, a normal designer will put our collection out once a month. Yeah. We put out once a week. Whoa. Every Friday <laughs> we have a new range out. Every Friday. You are just like how, you are how, just yeah. taking the money. Yeah. <laughs> and and just dressing one. everyone. And you remember you have to do a photo shoot every two weeks because I can't afford to do every week. Yeah. But if you are a regular client of mine, you come in every every Friday after uh, two o'clock, our new range is out, so the regulars will come in. But we just post every second week. Wow. I mean, who are your clients? Because I want to be the girl who's going <laughs> no. to buy a new outfit every Friday. <laughs> we, have, we, have, we have them. I we love have them. Yeah. Yeah. How are Stunning. you two able to come together as this dynamic mm -hmm. duo? I mean, having the introverted one, having the out there flary mm -hmm. one. How do you compromise? Yeah, do you fight? Do you fight? <laughs> well, I think it works well, because when my mom's quite stressed out and frantic, I can calm her down. and wow. when. I need hyping. I got her. So were you doing social media before and now you do the social media for the business no, now? No, no. Yeah. What were you doing before when you decided to I was working in asset management. Amazing. <laughs> Stop that. I literally was doing that exact job before I ditched that and went for my dream. I've I never was done that. Financing. I just managed this asset. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Okay, let's have a look and see what you've got. Okay. The first up, we have Kotha. She's a tween. Oh, I love it. So we styled up with a ruffle dress with tulle. So we paired it with a pair of cowboy boots. But oh. the girls like to wear it with a sneaker as well. Yes, yeah, she just looks so cute. I love that look. She looks literally like a cast member from a Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> Absolutely. And she's got the style. But one that you're dying to catch a drink with, have a lunch with, yeah. and catch up as girls. I love that look. And the this next, look. The next Ooh. model, we gold have a member. beautiful gold uh, jumpsuit. Beautiful for evening wear. Yeah. It's a pleated jumpsuit. Beautifully styled. Semi-formal. Semi-formal. And I see that you haven't shied away with partnering it with gold, because a lot of people might be afraid having a full I don't believe in this is more. More for me is more. More <laughs> yes, is more. more, oh, is more. Minimalist no, about no, me. That's no, why no, I no. You so much. You'll see our shoots also. We always have the drama. We always have the yes. earrings. It's a chain. More yes. is more for me. Eh? Well, drama is definitely my name. But yeah. this look is a little bit more muted. I yeah. kind of see your influence. Um, uh, it's like a classic uh, rap dress, basically, two-tone. 
and uh, the stretchy fabric so it can't do us to anybody's body shape. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, for a smart casual look. I've got a friend who's also a designer in modest wear, and but he used to do like really sexy dresses. <laughs> and he said, forget that like the slinky vibe. He said, it's so much more fun to do modest Mod wear because yes. there's so much more to people. It's yes. trending worldwide. Yeah. Wow. The next look, oh, that beautiful model with a monochrome black and white, very dramatic. Speaking yes. of drama. The bottom of that dress is six meters wide with two pockets. Yes. I'm just so distracted by that shoe. This poor model is going to get hijacked upstairs the and she's dream. losing those shoes. <laughs> to show the shoes. So we do it a high-low so you, yeah. you can see the shoe. Type of like a mallet vibe. Yeah. Oh, that is just so exquisite. Business in the front, party at the back. <laughs> and speaking of parties, we have got a full-on sequence number waiting our, to our make Our next model, way. she's got a full-on sequence navy blue dress. That's gorgeous. We did a turban. Of course, our Eid is coming up now, as you know, it's Ramadan now. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the girls that need to wear their head covered, we, yeah. we give you the option of making the turbans with your outfit. Have you seen the latest Sports Illustrated magazine? Yeah. Is out? Yeah. And the girls yeah. got the yeah. turban and yes. the whole mother's and she's so yeah. beautiful. Yeah. So, remember with all the outfits, we give you an option of a turban. So, we just modernise the scarf. Will yes, you teach so. me after the show how to roll a <laughs> turban like that? Because I feel like I need Definitely. one. In my just look at Faranasis, look there with a hat. Effortless. Watch the show tomorrow, I'm going to be here with the turban. <laughs> okay, next one we have our uh, last model with a sari dress. Now yeah. just watch this genie. She, the, the, the dress can go in three ways. First yeah. up under the belt. Yeah. You can do it up to the shoulder wow. and then she takes it right to the back. There. Wow. I need that for when I move to India to become a Bollywood star. <laughs> This is a stunning look. This look kind of echoes a bridal type of fashion. You can. Yeah. Stunning. Thank and I see, you. is that velvet that you use? But, uh, the season now, it's, it's winter, so we did velvet for our Eid range now. So it comes in different colours so as well. Elegant. When it comes to modest wear, what is the number one go-to that you guys feel like people are missing the mark? Modest wear for us is just conservative dressing. Mm. Just so showing less skin, less skin, basically. So if we get a style that we like, uh, we're going to tweak it. If the, if, the, if the style shows that it's a short sleeve, all we do is we just take the sleeve longer. Mm. Like for this, it's, it's, it's smart casual, mm. but if I want to make it more funky, I'll just make the, sh the sleeve shorter. But for modest wear, we're going to take it there. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you're fully covered. I love so that. So you're fully covered. And bursts with personality. And all of the items can be worn in a non-modest way non -non -modest as well. Way. Oh, absolutely. Yes. I was looking at everything <laughs> thinking, oh, that's going to go there for me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much, thank ladies, you for, for sharing this thank beautiful. You so thank you so much. You, thank you are amazing. Congratulations thank on all of your you. success. You. I absolutely adore you. Thank fabulous you. ladies. Yeah. Now remember, you can still connect with us on our social media media platforms and tell us what some of your staple winter items are. Tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the official hashtag Afternoon Express or comment on our Facebook page. We will wrap up our chat with our guests after the break.